Hey, hey, this is director, producer Alan Wills, and I am on Positive Power 21 with Jerry Royce Live. And when I'm online, I listen to Jerry Royce Live at www.freaker.com backslash positivepower21.org. Y'all heard? Struggling with your relationship, or you just can't seem to find the right one? Author Gerald Manuel has written an enlightening new book entitled How to Identify Your Spiritual Soulmate. You may order a copy today from Amazon.com or at BarnesandNoble.com. This book is sure to answer many of the questions you may have. Thank you and God bless you. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Gerald Pringle, R&B and soul singer and songwriter, and you are tuned in to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide. You are listening to PositivePower21.org with Jerry Royce. What up? It's your boy, Kano Kingston. Hi, this is Angel Sessions. Hey, this is Pat. Hi, I'm Teresa Powell. Hi, Jerry. This is Iowa Sandro Carter. Hi, this is Paul Powers. Hello, this is Teresa Bobby with Jerry Royce Live. Hi, I'm Philip Byrne. I'm live on the Jerry Royce Show. Hey, what do you do? This is Boy Who's the Same. Hey, this is Dolly, the poet, spoken word artist. Hello, this is Ramon Marquis with Jerry Royce Live. All right, all right, everyone. You got Robin Lynn, and I'm keeping it live right now on Jerry Royce Live. Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's up? This is a award winning podcast with the greatest podcast on earth. Thank you for stopping by. I'm your host, Jerry Voice Live Worldwide on Internet Radio, where you get your positive on. So when it's all positive, it's all power. That's positive power. This is a worldwide podcast for growth, wealth, and success. Thank you. Think you know how drugs get in those little brown bottles? Think again. Set in the green hills of western New Jersey, inside the gilded halls of power of a U.S. pharmaceutical company where decisions are worth billions of dollars and human lives worth less. Nicholas Harding, a young executive at Marshall Pharmaceutical, finds his career, family, and life in jeopardy. The Farmhouse, a suspense thriller novel by Bill Powers, published by Donna Inc. Publications, available at Amazon.com or DonnaInc.org. Go to Bill's webpage at www.authorbillpowers.com. 
All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining us, and welcome to Positive Power 21.org. I am Jerry Voice Live. That's right. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power 21? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I am Jerry Voice Live. I am blessed. I am worldwide. Philippians 4, 6 says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs and don't forget to thank him for his answers. You are listening to episode 378 with R&B singer Gerald A. Pringle for The Lovers is the title of his album. His website is www.geraldpringle.com for The Lovers CD and merchandise is now available online stores. You can purchase them at iTunes, Google Play, CD Baby, Amazon.com. And before we read his bio, let's hear a quick song from Gerald Pringle. This is one of my favorites called Breathe With You. Hold tight, everybody. It won't take you very long to, to be drawn in by the smooth, melodic voice of this talented crooner. Armed with both a soothing tone that he executes with precision and the ability to take his listeners on a journey through his storytelling, Gerald possesses a passion for music that rivals even the greatest of love affairs. It's easy to see why more and more people are yearning to love more about this rising talent. All right, and he hails from the region where sweet tea flows freely. And Southern Charm is considered a birthright. Gerald A. Pring was born in the coastal city of Charleston, South Carolina. Maybe it's no coincidence that that was where his story began. A city rich with musical history and a wealth of other artistic influences. It seems Gerald was destined for a life that revolved around the performing arts. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you on PositivePower21.org with Jerry Voice Live Worldwide. Episode 378, Gerald Pring. What's going on, sir? What's going on, Jerry Royce? Hey, awesome, man. Awesome, brother. Feel the power, man. Absolutely. It is so great, so great to have you back, man. So what's going on, man? Tell us, tell the audience, who is Gerald A. Pringle, the R&B soul artist? Well, first and foremost, thank you for having me back, man. I love your show, and I'm always tuning in. Uh, but who is Gerald Pringle? Gerald Pringle is an R&B pop gospel singer, songwriter, musician, lover of music, lover of life, and, you know, just an overall, you know, positive person who wants, you know, to make a difference in the world uh, through his art, uh, through his music, and, uh, you know, just, you know, want to leave my mark on, on the world in, in a positive manner. Yeah, it's awesome, man. And, man, um, it's, it's just, you know, something how... Uh, you know, you one of those guys, man, that people really envy. You just don't know how people just envy what you had done. Just got up from the cubicles of a successful position with the federal government to pursue your passion, your dream, you know, something God had ordained you to do. Woo! That's too powerful, man. 
So tell us what was what was going through your, you know, run it, run us back a little bit for those, you know, we have a lot of new audience members. Of course, we used to entertain mostly my family from the Eastern Shore. Hello, Herlock. Hello, Preston, Eastern, Cambridge. And of course, we got to yeah. say hello to my friends in South Carolina. That's right, Charleston. Absolutely. What's going on? In Columbia. That's right, man. We got a big audience in Columbia, man. We, we've nice. been rocking Jam Vibes Radio day in and day out. Now, they want to know, Gerald, what was going through your mind, man, when, when, you, when you call it quits, 9 to 5? Well, you know, this is, you know, the positive power station. So, you know, it all definitely, you know, stems from my personal conversation with, you know, the Heavenly Father. And, uh, you know, I've placed a lot of thought and prayer into the decision. You know, it wasn't one that was made lightly. Uh, so I would say maybe... Uh, two to three years prior to me finally making the decision to separate from an extremely successful and lucrative federal career. You know, I'd, I'd been planning and praying on it, and, you know, I just felt that I'd received the message that, you know, this was the time. Everything had lined up so perfectly and beautifully for me to make a, a very graceful and, you know, a graceful exit. And, um, you know, I was doing what I needed to do at the job and um, was a successful analyst there. And when the when I turned in the notice, uh, it wasn't a surprise to me, but everyone said, you know, Gerald, we're not surprised. Um, because as I stated on my uh, past conversation with you, um, mm-hmm. you know, during my time within the government, I'd been performing for, you know, the federal ceremonies and the award ceremonies and the honoree programs. So they knew that's what I... You know, that's where the passion, you know. Yeah. So when uh, the announcement came, the official announcement came, it's like, okay, yeah, we we knew it was coming. We didn't know when. <laughs> but uh, we knew it wouldn't be long because, you know, although you're a great uh, federal employee, we can we know that this isn't your final stop. This isn't where the passion yeah. lies. But, but, um, but yeah, um, what was going through my mind is like, you know, stepping out on faith and, it's like, okay, is this the right decision? I, I see all the signs that lead to, yes, Gerald, do it. But it's still, you know, there's that you're nagging little question in the back of your mind. Am I making the right to Who walks away from, you know, X, Y, and Z? Um, yeah. like, you know, all the signs were there, and it was like, Gerald, just go, have faith. You know, God, it's like, trust in me, and I will sustain you. And October will, will be two years, and I can wow. tell you that, yeah, time flies, man. Time absolutely flies. But I can tell mm. you that the journey has been a non stop exciting ride since day one wow since day one like things have been happening doors have been opening you know so many doors kind of like okay which one do you want me to go through now so yeah it's amazing and i can only attribute that to you know just being blessed and you know waiting on you know the signs and waiting on god you know to hey you were patient and you listened and you followed my lead and you, he directed the path so that's right the nerves were there in the beginning but you know, you got to step out on faith and just, un- you know, understand that things are going to fall into place, you know, if you do right. the right things. So. That's yeah. right. Now, Joe, would you say this was the right time for you, man? Because, one, you know, mainstream is, is, is kind of getting a little nervous. You know, they, mm-hmm. they're trying to get creative. But, it's, it's, you know, and, and this is my conversation with executives with um, this, uh, this, this Atlanta-based um, production company um, called Sector 7. And they, 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 you can see how the internet has gained so much momentum, where people are really embracing it right now. Is is that not just for social media, but social radio, social TV? I mean, now you're looking at technology where we can look at your videos on our widescreen TV. It's not like before we had to patch you in through our smartphone. Now things just, you know, R- Ruku about to about to do that thing, and that's going to be phenomenal. So tell us how how the internet has been your friend. Man, um, it's basically instant access, uh, direct to the fans, direct marketing. Social media is huge. Um, like you said, if someone hears of you on the radio or even get a glimpse of, you know, a, a song or something, they can immediately go to, you know, their phones and, you know, pull it up on the Internet or their, you know, devices. And then you have websites and apps like Shazam. Uh, mm-hmm. I've been getting a lot of uh, hits from... Uh, those type of apps stating that people have been, you know, querying my music. Like, who's this guy? Let me put my phone up to, you know, the radio and have my mm. phone tell me exactly what song is playing. So I've been getting wow. a lot of alerts from that, like, over the past few months. I, I don't know where the songs are playing, but just to see that, you know, that interaction is there. So definitely the Internet, 
basically puts you in the pockets of everyone who has a device. Um, so uh, it's, like I said, that almost direct marketing. You know, a lot of times, you know, fans, you know, fans want what they want. They know specifically mm-hmm. what it is they want. So they, they kind of, you know, weed through the things that they don't really care about. So they'll go directly to, you know, I'm interested in this artist or this type of movie mm-hmm. or video. And they can just go find it themselves. So they are the producers and, you know, the, the directors who say, you know, this is what I want. That's right. And now we're running across some real scary talent. I mean, right. I mean, I mean, you know, you, you, if you remember, man, a few months ago, man, you, you didn't see the word ministries on the back of Worldwide. <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> it was it was um I was on here um you know with an artist gospel and, and the music just took over and wow. you know it's like God was speaking to me and I always had that conversation with him anyway that I was getting a little carried away a little out of control <laughs> it's time to to embrace his people mm-hmm. and give him glory and I said okay what you want me to do uh oh <laughs> entertain the clean music. Folks, that's right. Clean talk, clean music. So, yeah. Daryl, now, now you you in that category of you know being a real clean artist, even though it's romance and you know it's for, right. it's for, like you said, it's called for the lovers. Um, you know, how 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 are the lovers embracing you, man? Tell us what are you hearing while you're on the road? What are people saying to you? You know, the reception has been beyond what I could have imagined. Um, you know, when I was recording this project, you know, it was my first project, uh, the EP. You know, you're putting your thoughts down on paper, and you want to speak truthfully and from the heart. And the purpose of this project was, is, like I said, the title is For the Lovers. So the purpose of this project was to, you know, put some music out there that people can relate to, and, you know, I really like this, or, you know, an R&B feel, R&B type, mm-hmm. but have the message be positive. And, yes, you know, have the words, you know, reflect, you know, feelings from within you know from the heart Mm -hmm. and you know music that people wouldn't mind sharing with others and um so the the reception like i said has been amazing and you you never really know what the demographic you know would be that would be drawn to it the most but Mm -hmm. from what i've been hearing and from the comments and messages i receive from you know fans if we want to call them that i guess you know it's it's kind of weird to say fans but from people who enjoy my music um like it's very positive people love it you know in the age range the demographics are you know from people in elementary school and high school to you know mm. their parents you know wow i can actually play this entire cd you know you know with That's my right. and my kids know all your songs you know within two days they know all the songs do you have another record out because they're asking you know can we hear something else i'm Gerald, i'm actually getting tired of hearing your music <laughs> so the, the reception has been great and you know when i perform whatever state I'm in, you know, hear people singing back to you, you know, that's, mm-hmm. that's awesome. Like that is such I a know, great man. feeling that when people can sing along with the music that you created, you know, something that, you know, you had a passion for and it's like, you know, your baby and they, yeah. you know, regurgitating those words back to you. It's awesome. That's, that's right. Awesome. It is. I believe you. Now, now one of, one of the things I know, you know, you guys are very protected over your music, you know, the digital, because people can just, you know, copy your stuff and they'll owe you anything. Now I'm starting to hear where a lot of independent artists are embracing the technology flowing and encouraging people to download so they can fall in love with them. So, so in other words, I'm feeling like the fans want to embrace, engage you, you know, learn your music, understand where you're coming from, and then when you come back out again and, and you and you offer sale, they will be there to support you. How do you feel about that? You think that that's happening? I I, I do see it a lot, and I I kind I kind of agree with it because it's one thing like you know you can create the music, but if no one knows you, like who's gonna buy it? Um, and you know you could be the most talented person and. Mm-hmm. But again, if they if you're doing it independently like I am, you know you may not have you know the major radio airplay, um, mm-hmm. or if it if you do get airplay, it's you know relegated to maybe a late night hour or you know whatever the circumstance may be. So you know I have been seeing you know and been implementing sometimes it's like the grassroots movement. It's kind of right. like look, you don't know who I am, so I you know can't really walk up to you and ask you to purchase this on good faith because you have no idea mm-hmm. about my music. So here you know take this or 
you know, listen to this or, you know, visit my website, you know, where the music streams, you know, freely. Of course, mm-hmm. I'm well free to purchase it, but if you don't know who I am, then, you know, why would you bother? So it makes a lot of sense. Um, That's right. you get, you got to kind of put in that groundwork in the very beginning. Mm-hmm. Like my, my thought process is, and sometimes, you know, you can look at it like this with startup companies. You're probably not going to make, you know, a lot of money, if any, those first few years. You know, you're trying to get you know, those contacts and the fan base, you know, built up mm-hmm. to a point where, like, okay, okay, we know who you are. We've heard your music. We like it. Next go around, you know, we're going to support you or, you know, we're going to send people your way. We're going to, you know, purchase your merchandise and your record. Mm-hmm. So I agree with that, you know, to a certain extent. You know, I don't want, you know, you don't want millions and millions of people lifting and stealing and illegal downloading, but sometimes, you know, that's how people are known, like so the underground yeah. folks get known. You know, you think yeah, it's right. online. You, you think they're new. It's like, wow, I love this new song. Who is this person? And then you research them, and they've been out for, you know, five, six, seven, eight years. Yeah, and yeah. They've had that following, but, you know, just whatever the timing is, whenever it's right, they're catapulted to a position where it's like, wow, where did this person come from? But they've had this history, you know, of those faithful few who always stuck with them. So, yeah, it's right. of, you know, there's a lot of positivity to, you know, that. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. And podcasting is is really supporting you guys because I'm starting to meet cats that are that are musicians or singers themselves, and they're starting to uh, entertain um, uh, stations like uh, like Live 365, and they're able to push independence in the playlist at the same time because uh, of their love for music. So they know how to build a real. Because one of my friends is from South Carolina right now, station. He builds an awesome playlist every day, and I pretty much record ten hours of his of his music, you know, every day and um, play it back, yeah, stream it from my show. And he he entertains a lot of the artists that that's been on my show. And their music is so beautiful. It's a woman right now that everybody's asking now. They say, well, is she on tour? Where is she? Is her music for right. sale? And she told me, you know, go ahead and play my stuff. I've talk, I spoke to her publisher a number of times. And, and recently she just told me that people are asking for her to do a tour. So she's, she's going to embrace that. Now, nice. what are you hearing? Now, I know you're coming to Baltimore. We're going to talk about that when we get back from our break. We're going to take a music break. And we come back, we're going to talk about, um, you know, your tour that, that's coming to Baltimore, Maryland. And we're hoping that, you know, the people who, who's in the Baltimore, Washington area will support you, that people be lined up at the door. Not so much yeah, that sure. I can't get in, but <laughs> oh, we, <got> <laughs> <laughs> we want to make sure they line up at the door. Just like they support many of the plays that, that we have pro- uh, promoted on here, we, we want to see the same thing happen to Gerald Pringle, a.k.a. GP, because he is here. Yeah. All right. All right, y'all. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to hear another one of his hits. This is another nice one right here called For the Lovers, and we can't wait. Now, Gerald, before we take this break, are we going to hear anything new at the concert, or basically you're just going to rock your EP that everybody's familiar with right now? We're going to rock the EP, but I will also be you know, doing a lot of covers. So we're going to do a lot of the classic R&B, and there are going to be some surprises in there as well. Yeah, awesome. All right, here we go, For the Lovers. Title of this is EP. Through fire, 
Hi, this is Angel Sessions, and when I'm in town, I listen to Jerry Royce Live, PositivePower21.org, where they play my favorite music. Are you an avid reader of urban fiction, looking for drama, suspense, and more? Read to our publishing is dedicated to bringing the world's best literature to our readers. Urban fiction, erotica, sci-fi, mainstream fiction, and children's literature are just some of the genres produced by our diversified family of authors. You can reach us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and at our website, www.reachworldpublishing.com. Listening to Positive Power Twenty One dot org with Jerry Royce. All right, the son of an industrial manager, father who was more likely known as a regional gospel singer and musician, a mother employed by the state of South Carolina. Gerald's love for music was encouraged by both his parents and cultivated on the choir of his grandfather's church. That is where his interest in performing arts began. Being reared in a family of both talented singers and musicians, his three brothers included, it was evident that he would continue to embrace his family's musical legacy. Wanting to learn all he could throughout his musical journey, Gerald's love and appreciation for various genres of music led him to join multiple choirs and assemblies from grade school throughout his attendance at the University of South Carolina, where he graduated with a degree in journalism and mass communication and a minor in theater. All right, man, so what's going on with the theater? All right, man, I know before you was taking some classes in California. How, how's that going for you? Oh, man, everything has been going great uh, with the acting classes. Um, a lot of gigs have come from you know, those classes and the connections that I've made throughout. I've uh, wow. been going on auditions and had quite a few roles. And now that was the acting for, like, television and commercials. And uh, mm-hmm. I've transitioned into theatrical acting, uh, getting back to, you know, what I had done in college. Right. And, you know, been in several plays out there with very prominent, you know, actors and actresses uh, because apparently a lot of them like to perform on stage, you know, in their spare time when they're not, you know, yeah. movies are on television shows. And, um, you know, you hear that a lot, that they just kind of want to, you know, keep themselves sharp. And, yeah. you know, every night on stage, even if it's the same play, no night is the same. So, you know, they keep their acting chops sharp in that aspect. And, you know, when you live in L.A., Tinseltown, you know, there's a celebrity or prominent actor or actress that you see in, in you know, some of your favorite movies, you know, they're... Mm every stage, you know, around, you know, every corner there in Hollywood. So I've been, you know, blessed with the opportunity to, you know, learn from a lot of, you know, the veterans, you know, what I consider mm-hmm. them, uh, just great actors and actresses. So, um, you know, the theatrical performances have been really helping me, you know, to uh, to know what to do when it comes, when the camera's on, you know. Yeah, so, right. Yeah, but things have been going really, really well in L.A. Yeah, man. Can you do some name dropping, man? Can we hear some names of some um, people oh, yeah. you've been working with? <laughs> um, Loretta Levine. Uh, yeah. Vanessa, oh, yeah, Vanessa Calloway. And, um, you know, a lot of uh, other, you know, some people, you know, you can't really talk about. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, right. But a lot of other actors and actresses out there as well. But, yeah. But if you... But, if, but if we were in town, we could we could uh, buy a ticket and uh, and oh, watch the performance, right? Okay. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, because you know I had um I had Cindy Williams on the show c- uh, a couple of months ago, and um she she was she was doing something I believe up in Canada a uh, stage play, it was either Canada or maybe it was Mass- it was Boston up around there, and she she had named quite a few people she was working with um you know people you know that we know that we see on TV, especially you know people you know some of those channels where you get a chance to see reruns runs of some of our favorite shows and a lot of them are still active in in the theater world so that right. that is awesome man very mm. prominent very prominent yeah now they now those kind of plays if if you win the audition do you know they paying gigs yes yeah, oh wow paying gigs i mean of course depends on you know the role you're going for but like we just touched on earlier when it's kind of like you're trying to get your name out there uh depending on the role if you want it bad mm-hmm. enough you know sometimes the connections you get or uh, the the lessons you learn from your fellow actors, sometimes that outweighs the pay. 
So it's like, okay, yeah. you know, I've got this going on all day, but yes, I will come to rehearsal every night. I will do this. I will, you know, make the commitment because I'm gaining more from just being here and, and you know, in the presence of these greats that, yeah. you, know, you know, money isn't, isn't that important right now. So, but yes, the majority of them are paid gigs. Yeah, that's right. So, all right, well, tell us a little bit about about this tour that you have coming up. I mean, um, I mean, I know Baltimore is coming up on Sunday. Absolutely. General admission. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, everybody's showing up. You got your, your VIP with dinner. Mm-hmm. And we're going to be at, uh, and I had to ask my son the name of this company. It's called Magoobie's Joke Magoobie's House. Joke House, yeah. Yeah. It's one of the uh, premier, right, it's one of the premier, um, then used for comedians like top mm. of the line comedians, you know, from you know our favorite comedians, you know, uh, Cedric the Entertainer, you know, BET, MTV, uh, yeah. you know, Comic View, all those type things. Like they, when they, whenever they're in the Baltimore area, Magoobies is the place that they stop in, and uh, like it's a great mm. venue. I've, I've performed there before, uh, 350 seat um, theater style seating, great stage, great sound system. So you know, it was only. You know, right when I'm coming back, you know, to my second home, that we do it right. You know, mm-hmm. we're going to go big, and uh, it's going to be amazing. But it's Magoobie's Joke House uh, in Timonia, Maryland. Yeah, it's a nice-looking place, man. I looked at it. I saw some of the pictures on your website. I said, wow, that's a nice place. I've never been. I'm sure it's probably one of those restaurants that, that was over there that I've been to a couple of times. They kept switching. Because one of those restaurants over there that kept switching names had, like, huge, um, like, 300 and screen TVs and oh, really? and my wife said that's not there anymore. It's something. Oh, wow. yeah, it was called Turfs, but it was on York Road, and okay, it, it became where, something else. Yeah. That's where my is. Oh really? That's that's uh-huh. the building. Oh, well, get out! That's the same building, but it's it's closed. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And then the racetrack, right? Oh yeah, that's a nice building. I, mean, I could I could see that. I didn't know it was a joke. I like, look. I just found out about the place that was on McDonald. Uh, road um, Sinbad was performing at uh, the Joke House over there. Okay. <laughs> the, the, the joke, I think it was called the Joke Factory or the Factory Joke House. Oh, like, Factory or something like that. Yeah, those? something. Yeah, yeah. Over in the Best Western, which was oh, I was like, where is it? <laughs> it was in the Best <laughs> Western, but it was really nice theater. You know, right? Those are the yeah. hidden gems you don't really know about until you know about them. You know. <laughs> yeah, I mean nobody, you know, well, you know, because we local, you know, sometimes we don't really entertain the locals too much on here. You know, everybody is coming out of South Carolina with the talent these days, so I don't get a chance to talk to nobody from Baltimore to tell jokes that can tell me about these places. So that is awesome, man. So Great. now, reading on your website that uh, your brothers are, uh, uh, they have a tour bus coming up this way, right? Is that right? Yeah, we got it. We have a bus coming up. Um, we act, I actually had the concert that I'm doing now. Our first date was actually here in the hometown of Charleston, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. And that was about a, a month ago. Well, yeah, about a month ago. June, around June, June 5th, I believe. And <clears throat> when I tell you we had an amazing time, like the people showed up and they showed out, uh, we were expecting about maybe 150 people and you know that's what we were kind of preparing for you know you always want to have a little Mm -hmm. bit extra just in case a few more show up and about 220 if i had to guess 220 230 people showed up it it was insane we i mean yeah we're not going to tell the you know fire marshal we kind of you know we were at cold you know over capacity yeah man the energy in the building was just it it was electric and we had a great show and they loved Mm -hmm. it and yeah, I said, okay, well, you know, we got we to keep this going. You know, folks have been asking, okay, yeah. when is the next one? When is your next date? And I hadn't fully flushed out all the ideas for mm-hmm. Baltimore yet. And no one knew about it, you know, except my, my, my team. And, um, you know, everyone was like, well, I, I know you're going to do something for Christmas. When's the Christmas show? I was like, Christmas show? I didn't, I didn't never said anything about a Christmas, but that's a good idea. Yeah, you know? yeah it is, man. Yeah. Right, these, you yeah. know, these folks are so used to going to concerts and things, but it kind of surprised me and it didn't in that you know they really love this you know this mm-hmm. type of live entertainment and you know just, they, just, they just want something different so yeah, they uh, do. when I when I made the announcement about you know the Baltimore show you know we've been promoting and you know social media for the Charleston event and like I said you know we were over capacity there but even still you know it's just so hard to connect with everyone and to reach everyone yeah. even if you you know direct you know marketing to them so a lot of them were like, "Oh my God! If if you know if we had another chance, we would you know, you know we would love to have come to the concert." So when yeah. I came to Baltimore, hmm. 
a lot of people who attended the show in Charleston were like, what, you're doing it again? We want to experience this again. And they Whoa. were telling their friends about the event and, you know, basically D.C., you know, what they call it, you know, Baltimore, Washington area, that we're going up mm-hmm. there. Uh, we're, we're all going to drive, we're all going to do this. And the response has been, you know, so great that, you know, my team and I, we got together and we're like, well, if they're going to try to make a trip of this, we may as well get a bus. And they're That's like, right. we don't have to drive, we can go get the show. Yeah, and we don't party have to bus. <laughs> That's right, the party <laughs> bus, man. It's exactly. an awesome like, idea. Sign me up, sign me up. So I may actually, I looked at the, uh, the list today, I may have to cut it off because uh, people, they're just so excited about, you know, coming up to Baltimore. And I'm yeah, I mean, so they would want to see yeah. it again. So That's right. It's right. like a testament of, you know, what I'm doing, you know, people like mm-hmm. it. That's so, right. You know, that makes Support me system. Good. Yeah, man. Absolutely. So so how many buses so how many buses are we expecting to see pull up? We were initially looking at two buses and I said, Well, you know, let, let's kinda curtail it to one. And, you know, that you know, this whole supply and demand thing, I said, you know, we don't want, you know, one and a half buses, you know, of, of mm-hmm. individuals. If we're gonna do two, let's go two full. But I said, you know what, let's just try and you know, you know, consolidate it to one bus. And right. you know, it's kind of like first come, first serve. So when you make that announcement, everyone's like, okay, well, sign me up, sign me up, sign me up. So um, ho- hopefully, well, I won't say hopefully, but we're going shooting for just one at the, at the moment. Just one. Right. Right. But, you know, people That's have been right. calling, you know, day and night. And I was like, okay, well, guys, we're right. only taking one. So. Yeah, man, you might have to Absolutely. book another one. You never know. You keep this thing going, man, and make it an experience. Because, you know, one, um, you got so much going on in Baltimore. I mean, you know, people are not even worrying about the ride. We try and explain it. That happened in, like, in two blocks of Baltimore. It wasn't like the whole Baltimore. People calling me, Jerry, are you all right? You know, all my Facebook right. friends said, what you talking about? What's going on? <laughs> it's, it's a ride. The, the Army's coming. <laughs> It was right. like, what army? I was like, exactly. man, that's like two blocks, man. I mean, the people still jogging around Drew Hill Park right now. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, <laughs> you know? media coverage, you know, TV, things yeah. are you know, blown so out of proportion, but, you know, I, I get it. Yeah. I heard the same conversation. Yeah, that's social media for you. And the thing about it, you know, once people get the word out that they're having a super time with the summer love experience on Baltimore Day Trip, and then later on you expand it to the casinos, because, you know, the casinos, only is on, I guess, is almost on the way back. Or, you know, 295, stop at Arundel Mills, or, yep, or the Horseshoe downtown. Right, so you right, might have right. to start adding that, man. Then, you know, add the crab house in there, man. You're not that far from the crab house. So you might, you got, your brothers might, yeah, you guys might have to just start adding a little bit more things to it and make it a, a excursion. You know, they get to I'm see your so tour at night, right? They get this, get an opportunity to do it overnight, you know, get uh-huh. some hotels, you know, because they got nice hotels out, out to Monium. Right, absolutely. It's, it's sweet. Yeah. yeah. So you, you, so yeah, like you guys going to have to. It's going to be a week-long event in Baltimore, huh? Yeah, man. At least, you know, take the weekend. You know, they get on the bus Friday night, be here in the morning, you know, take them out to the casino, get to eat, you know, nice spots, man, you know, have a ball. And then, then concert Saturday night with with, uh, with Gerald Pringle, GP in the house. It's That's right. Overall experience, huh? That's right, Definitely. man. And you got you because you got your team here that can make all that happen. You know, you know Absolutely. Leslie like that stuff. You know <laughs> Leslie and April and all them. Man, you know they be right there with you, man. So, so who's the MC? Who's your MC, man? MC, uh, it's going to be my younger brother, uh, Michael Pringle. Um, yeah, is, awesome. You know, extremely talented individual. When I tell you, the family definitely supports and they work. Oh my God, I can't thank them enough for you know everything that they do, but. Um, Michael Pringle, uh, he's, you think, you think I'm outgoing and, you know, cr- the life of the party and crazy, this guy's like a thousand <laughs> times more, you know, so he's, you know, he's a baby, so he's got that, you know, youngest child thing going where it's like, you yeah. know, I'm doing it wrong and whatever, but the great guy, high energy, so he will be, um, you know, emceeing the event, and, uh, like I said, I have a, you know, few surprises in store, but yeah. he was, uh, you know, the MC at the Charleston event, and... When I tell you, he kept the crowd going, and uh, he's also a drummer. This guy, he does everything. Oh, he's a wow. licensed cosmetologist. Uh, he's he's mm. an instructor uh, at a local college here, so he's been teaching mm. for you know for several years. Um, you know, he teaches Korean to students, and it, he he does it all. And he's a drummer, mm. musician. Like um, like I said, my family, you know, uh, talented musicians and singers. So um, yeah, he's a Renaissance man, and you know, yes. when I'm on the road, 
he's on the road with me, and when he's working, you know, I'm working with him. So we, you know, as a family unit, we've got to support each other and each other right. members because you know, you know, when one succeeds, Amen. we all succeed. So, but but you'll get to meet him. You'll get to meet him Sunday. Yeah, good, good. Now, um, now is he opening for you also? Is it going to be like a you know like a opening act, or he just going to open it up, do his fifteen twenty act. minutes? Oh yeah, right. good. Yeah, That's for the late people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah exactly. that's for the late arrivals. You put the time on the on the flyer and the information, but you know how it is. So the show starts this time, but we are really going at this time. But I do have right. a couple opening acts, um, and I will also be featuring some local talent. You know, because like I said, Baltimore, yeah. home number two. So I've had the opportunity to work with a lot of great, you know, artists, you know, singers, musicians, spoken word artists. So um, yeah, that's real. You know, open up for me, and uh, we'll do some jazz numbers. And I have a yeah. singer that I'll be featuring from South Carolina. And wow. Michael is also a singer, so he'll be singing background, you know, with me. Mm-hmm. And um, so, but yeah, it's we're gonna be it's gonna be a great show. It's gonna be man. Great. I am excited, man. I'm excited because okay. yeah, because man, I'm, I thought I had a conflict of a schedule conflict, you know, going to the Orioles game. I, I just get my dates so mixed up. Uh-huh. Cause it's youth, cause it's youth football, yeah, youth football time, and then we doing we on. Actually, yo, I haven't had a chance to talk about this much, but Jerry Voice Live is actually on tour on Sundays. That's right, on Sundays, um, you can invite me to your church, and I can do a live podcast. Now the schedule is getting deep right now, so you need to contact my people as soon as possible. And we're gonna be at Daryl Ham's church, and, and I, I can't remember the name of it right now, but we will make some um, announcements through the week on Facebook. Um, the name of his church where we're gonna be, but I do know it's out uh, in the Baltimore area off of uh, Northern Parkway in Alameda. So um, we will be there broadcasting live starting at 10 o'clock. The whole service right here on Spreaker Radio and Positive Power 21.org. Last week we were at Holy Mountain International Church Saturday at their anniversary. And shout out to Pastor um, Bamadella Bello and his wife, Pastor Rhonda Bello, and we really appreciate the invite. My son and I was out there setting up podcast, the whole event with the apostle who was the speaking awesome testimony. And also we don't forget about um we won't forget about the promised land um ministries that was uh out there off of Wilkins Avenue in Baltimore County with uh Pastor Terry and his wonderful staff. So we had a good time out there. So don't forget y'all just inbox me on Facebook and I'm talking about the Baltimore Washington area. I'm talking about South Carolina now. New, maybe <laughs> New York. Maybe New York. Cause I can see my granny, see how she's doing. But that's what we've been up to, man. Come on down hmm. to South Carolina, man. Yeah, I, I actually suppose be there Friday the 31st with our, our one year anniversary with our Jam Vibes Radio but you know I, I couldn't do that and make it back in time for your thing you know I'm, you, know, I'm, you know any priorities my man got here <laughs> yeah that's right GP come I said I gotta be in town for GP it'd be just my luck the car break down and they take forever to get a, a oh, rental man. to me no uh uh-uh. uh <laughs> so so I, I couldn't take that chance. Plus, I got to go see the see the Orioles on um, on Sunday night, so I got to be in town. I mean, on Saturday night, I got to see the Orioles. That's right, everybody. You got to support our local um, ball players here. All right, Gerald, we're gonna take another quick break, man. Um, okay. Oops, I got my dog on thing mixed up. Um, I don't have. I, I thought I was gonna play another one of your songs, but we're just gonna go ahead and just do a, a quick commercial, real quick. Um, Man, it's great having you back, man. And in the Baltimore area, we can't wait to see you, man. So hold tight, everybody. We got Gerald Pringle, a.k.a. GP, in the house. All right, here we go. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Oh, no. Don't let go. Don't let go. 
This is Angel Sessions, and when I'm in town, I listen to Jerry Royce Live, PositivePower21.org, where they play my favorite music. What do you give to a person who has everything? Hi, I'm Darlene Rucker Williams, and I am the owner of Stylish and Stellar Gifts by Dar. I get this question all of the time. At Stylish and Stellar Gifts by Dar, we specialize in customizing gifts for people and pets too. Our gifts are original and one of a kind. Not only do we deliver, we ship as well. We work according to your budget and your things. We have gifts for all things, including baby showers, sports teams, get well, bridal, birthdays, pets, just because, and that's just the name of you. So let's style and sell a gift by Dar. Take the worry out of your gift giving today and also for the holidays. Our website is www.stylishandseller.com and our phone number is 443-682-5664. Hey, hey, this is director, producer, Alan Wills, and I am on Positive Power 21 with Jerry Royce Live. And when I'm online, I listen to Jerry Royce Live at www.freaker.com backslash positivepower21.org, y'all heard. That's right, you tell them, Alan. Yeah, I forgive you, man, for stealing my football team from the Baltimore Colts. That's right, we are. We got the Ravens now. That's Alan Mills. That's right, short film director out of Indianapolis. That's right. All right, everybody, we're talking to Gerald Pringle, a.k.a. GP, episode 378, For the Lovers, CD merchandise now available online. You can get it his website, official website, because people will be copying people's stuff. You got to be careful with that. <laughs> it's GeraldPringle.com, his official website. He tells you where he's going to be on tours. You can buy tickets. You can download his CDs and check them out, all that good stuff. And don't forget, he's going to be here. That's right, in Charm City. That's right, don't let the ride scare you guys. That's not what we're about. That's right. He's going to be here. Doors open at 6 p.m. Show starts 7 p.m. sharp. That's right. His brother going to be on stage at 7 p.m. sharp at McGooby's Joke House, 9603 Derrico Road, Timonium, Maryland. And you can call them if you need more information. The Summer Love Experience. All right, Drew, I know you got to be excited about this, man. I'm so excited, too, man. I, I just can't wait to be sitting out there. I'm going to try to get my lady to go, man. If I can get the well, she always working all the time, man. <laughs> I'm going to be sitting there. Take some time off and come enjoy the show. Yeah, no, man. But she goes, well, we going to the Orioles game. <laughs> I said, all right. So I, I guess I'll just be there working, man. I'll be representing the independent media, man. I, and I appreciate you, you know, having us, man. I hope we have an opportunity to podcast live for those that can't make it. Uh, they have an opportunity to hear the reaction of the audience. And, you know, we streaming in so many countries right now. I, I think it's going to be a real treat to all our overseas listeners. You never know when you get that invite. To, it's time for you to come over, to take that boat over there, man, with that eight hour, that 16 flight, 16 hour flight or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I've, I've been seeing your audience grow, you know, since we last I spoke. I mean, like the countries that you're in, it's been amazing. So, congratulations to that. Yeah, big things out there, my man. God is good, man. And like I said, man, I was I was having a good old time entertaining the street lit authors. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then Pop said, "That's not positive power." And I was like, "What? That's not no, it is dead." It. And I, I knew I was wrong. And next thing you know, you know, I listened to a a cut, and and, and even your song, man, your song has a lot of soul to it, man. Where you, it talks to your spirit, you know. Is it? You know, I I know you entertain a, a couple of genres right now. Is it any chance that you may go full blown gospel, since that is your roots? Full blown, as in that's the only music yeah. period. From yeah, that is it. Yeah, uh, that is it. <laughs> we we touched on this a little bit the last time. Um, the gospel, the gospel that's within me, it isn't going anywhere. So, um, like, will I do a full gospel album? Sure. I don't. I don't see that not happening in my future. Um, will I be? Will I consider myself a gospel artist specifically? You, you never know what may mm. happen in the future. Uh, right. But right now, uh, 
you know the the mix of music is you know is, is where I am um, like yeah. you said even in what you know quote unquote what we consider the R&B soul or pop genres you know there's always that you know threading of mm-hmm. listen I may be thinking about one thing or you may be you know hearing the beat or whatever the rhythm but there will always be a message in there you know and hopefully right. it shines a light you know toward your heart and you know you, you got to speak to people where they are and mm-hmm. um, that's what I kind of touched on like who is Gerald Pringle you know I'm about positive positivity and you know spreading the message in any way that I can so yeah, right. if you want to call that you know gospel you could um, but um, right now, I will say that I'm, I'm not planning to be a full-blown gospel artist. But, you know, like you said, when, you, when you're spoken to, when things mm-hmm. come to you, it's like, all right, this is the path now, you know. And I'm just on, right. on the journey. Right. So we, we don't it's know what right. to so we, we'll see. You never know. That's Absolutely. right. Because uh, cause cause our artist we were just listening to uh, just, a, just a little bit ago was uh, Angel Sessions out the Bay Area and would uh-huh. um, let go. And uh, she she used to be mainstream, man. And she said after a while, you know, she started like you in the church, family, you know, singing their hearts out, and even her daughter. And um, her spirit called her, you know, to to be contemporary. I think she called it contemporary urban gospel. And I'm right. um, doing doing tremendous things, uh, blowing the charts open on Amazon. Right. Yeah, so we love her. So she's a big big supporter, big sponsor. Of the show, so I hope you didn't mind. We, you know, we we are fitting her track in there because it is the GP oh. show tonight. You know, <laughs> featuring you, but I, I thought she'd be appropriate enough um, that your fans wouldn't get mad with Jerry Royce live. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, I enjoyed the song, but yeah, just like a lot of our favorite artists, you know, you know, no one likes to be, you know, put into a box. You know, no one likes to be labeled. Mm-hmm. But the, the Reverend Al Green, like we touched on in our last interview. Uh, you know Al Green, and you have you know Luther, and you know Whitney, mm-hmm. artists who yeah. sang the songs, you know, you know for the world, but they give the, their true selves. And I know who I am, you know, and I know where my help comes from. So yeah. you know when I'm singing, whatever the mood is that day, you know, like look, I'm gonna write this inspirational song. I'm gonna write this you know gospel song, or mm-hmm. I'm gonna sing this love song you know, about relationships, but I'm going to implement the positive aspect, you know, about, you know, people just coming together. So, um, that's right. like, you know, labels specifically, but man, I'm open to all types of music, but gospel is definitely the roots. You know, that's where it all began. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Now, and Daryl, now, now one of the things that's so trendy right now, artists, independent artists, especially are releasing singles. Sometimes they, they, they don't, they won't even wait for an entire LP or EPs completed, just release singles. Um, have you started that trend yet? Not yet. Well, that was the overall process for this, my first EP. Uh, mm-hmm. an EP is an extended play for, for those who don't know. And it's shorter than a CD, but longer, fewer songs than a CD, but more songs than a single. And I decided to go with an EP first, you know, and not maybe 10 or 12 songs as in a full CD to, again, give people a taste of, you know, who I am, the style of music I do, I perform, and um, just different, slightly different versions of, like, genres. So Mm -hmm. on this album, we have the ballads, the slow ballad, Breathe With You was one of them. We have the the power anthem for the lovers, which is the uh, title of the EP. A great, mm-hmm. upbeat, you know, kind of like club type joint and Washed Away, which is almost a melodramatic, you know, uh, you know, heartbreak type song. So you have the upbeats, you know, the uh, mid-tempos, the ballads. So I just wanted to give a little sampling of Gerald, you know, as an introduction. But you're, you're right. Uh, a lot of folks release singles because sometimes those catch on, you know, quickly, you know, just kind of get it out there. And, you know, the same thing with mixtapes. You know, yeah. at their studio or at home on their computer, just record a few songs, record a few bars, and just you know throw it up on the web. You know, SoundCloud, right. Twitter, or you know just different avenues. And like you said, you know, internet, you can access your fan base in different countries. You know, people around the world instantly. Um, so a lot of people do release singles, and um, again, kind of with you know the whole free, you know giving your music away freely and you know in a, to a certain extent I mean, a lot of people just do covers or they'll sing mm-hmm. a song that's popular right now but put their spin on it their twist on it 
just like in the olden days, you know, we, you know, you hear the Supremes do a song that Smokey Robinson did that, yeah. did that you know, that one did. So everyone loves the song, but it's, it's just given new life. You know, when your favorite artist sings and it's like, oh, my God, I love this song. Right. Oh, my God, she's singing it or he's going to, oh, man, I know it's going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. um, that's why, you know, with my performance coming up on August 2nd at Magoobies, I'll be doing my original material. And for those who have my album, you know, they would, you know, definitely, you know, chime in and, you know, know where I'm coming from there. But for those who I hope would purchase the, the record there because we will have merchandise for sale, you know, they may hear it and like, oh, okay, well, I'm not familiar with it, but, you know, it's, I, I like it. It's cool. Mm -hmm. But when I do some covers from the greats and some popular music that, you know, is playing currently, they go, oh, I love that song. I know that song. Wow. He gets right. to it. So, you know, it's all about implementing the different styles. But um, singles, definitely. Um, and a lot of people with the, you know, creation of iTunes and, you know, Amazon MP3, if an artist release, releases a full album, the majority of fans would think, okay, out of 10 or 12 songs, three of them might be hits. Mm -hmm. You know, and see what it is that stands out to me, and I'll just purchase those songs individually. You know, yeah, so right. You sometimes have artists pour all of their, you know, heart and energy and finances into a project when maybe truthfully to them, they know they only have maybe two, three, or four, like, hits. Yeah. Other songs maybe, you know, fillers, you know, just to, you know, meet that quota of having it be a full album. And a lot of them are, have just gotten smart about it. So they've just been releasing EPs, you know, I'm going to do four or five songs, four or five really strong songs, and that's all I'm mm -hmm. going to release. You know, why? That's right. You know, it's through, you know, the filler, kind of like a, you know, Baltimore crab cake. You know, we want, you know, we want to get to the meat. Yeah, of, you know, that's right. Issue, so. No that's right, and that's, and that's smart. That's, that's economics, you know. Because one of the and one of the things, like you said, where people having digital devices, like now people carrying their their um, playlists on their phones. Sometimes you don't feel like hearing the same artist for the next fifteen songs. You want to mix it up, pick your right. favorite three. So if this if there's three three singles that were released, you mix them in your playlist, and, and they love that about exactly. about you guys. And, and I think it makes sense because you're talking about hours and hours and money spent on right. production studio time producers and then you want to try different producers out so you may just want to try them out now let's talk a little bit about your style man how you lay your, your music now when you was working on this last ep and then your current project are you going to take the same approach um how you just you designed this this la this current ep um i think so i i think so with this uh the producer and co-writer that i work with out of los angeles great guys and I definitely plan to work with them on this next project that I've you know got coming up but um, I also want to you know start incorporating other producers and uh, musicians to kind of get a you know keeping in the same vein of you know my style of music which is the R&B pop type music um, but implementing other producers and uh, maybe <clears throat> might touch uh, or reach out to um, another song co-writer co Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I think I'll take the same approach to this one. Uh, it seemed to work, you know, perfectly well for the first go-around. And, like, the project that I had released, the reception has been amazing. So, you know, they say if it ain't broke, you know, you why try to fix it? That's right. Um, but, yes, the same approach. Uh, I'm, you know, taking in um, music from different producers now. They're sending me tracks, and I'm, you know, seeing what I like and, you know, trying to compile a list of, you know, tracks and music that I could, uh, that I think, you know, would represent the direction I'm going for on this next project. But, um, but yeah, basically the, the same process, you know, we're going to, you know, bring in more people. You know, first, you mm -hmm. know, the first time, you know, everything is sampling and let's start out small to kind of make sure that, you know, we're doing this right. But at this point, you know, we're going to try and, you know, spread our wings a little bit further. That's right. And, uh, you know, bring some more people on board. And I'm excited about yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah, man, we are. Now, we, now, everybody, remember, you're listening to episode 378. We do have another episode with uh, GP. Um, we'll make sure that we'll play with this one so you guys have an opportunity to hear his earlier work and find out, you know, where he is now compared to what he his conversation was then. And one of the things we talked about then was videos. We talked about videos. Um, what's going on with the videos right now? Have you Have you entertained that yet? I have. I have actually connected with a an amazing uh, videographer out of Atlanta. And um, we have some things planned. He's back and forth between Los Angeles and Atlanta. And uh, we have a date set maybe 
uh, November, where mm-hmm. we're going to record, um, film a, a video for one of the songs on the EP. Uh, so we've got some things coming up uh, there. We had a date for a little earlier, but the the, the con came up. The con. Oh, we have a little problem with your phone. Yeah, your phone okay, Gerald? It's not conking out on you, is it? Uh oh, sound like Gerald. We lost Gerald there. You still there, man? Yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry about that. Oh, okay, no yeah, problem. The concerts, the concerts came up, and uh, uh, so we had to push our shoot date back a little bit. But he was like, "Man, go do your thing." Man, we're excited hmm. about it. So, um, you know, the video um, will happen in uh, November. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Good. That's right. Awesome, man. I remember I was talking to this this uh, artist from down south. I forgot how deep he was. And he said, man, I got a good videographer, man. I said, okay, you know, I'll check him out. What, what, what is he going to cost me? He said, 75 I said, 7500 He said, no, $75. And I was like, and I saw his video, man. I said, wait a minute. He did that for $75? We, we coming down there. It's crazy. <laughs> the talent that's out here now. Now, speaking of talent, this just lead to my next question because I know what's going on out there because it's positive power 21.org. Right. Um, talent, talent shows. Um, it's about to be a big talent search coming out of a production company out of the ATL. Um, they have offices in, in um, L.A. as well, in New York. Do you see GP getting involved with a talent search to go mainstream? Do you see that happening? Um, you know, I thought about it. Um, right now, the 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 current answer is no. Uh, I entertained the idea like when I was, you know, when I'm still working, and mm-hmm. was trying to figure out the direction I wanted to go. Uh, because a lot of times, and the t- type of talent shows I'm thinking are, you know, the televised ones where. You know, there's the there's more of a lean toward the entertainment side than it is, you know, the mm. trying to find an actual, you know, artist. Maybe mm. until toward the end, but uh, and I've heard horror stories about those types of uh, those shows. But um, as of right now, I don't think so. I said, you know, my thing is let me do it the, the the old school way when you know people didn't really know about you until you you know you know hit that pavement running and just kind of worked your way up from the bottom and you know, did yeah. your own thing. So. Um, that's where I am now. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and release the project and just see where that goes. And, yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, the reception has been really good with that. So I was like, okay, well, we got a good start. So we'll just try and continue and build build the reputation in, you know, that way. That's right. That way. That's right. That's awesome. And, and, and people becoming so visual now um, with the fact that they want to see, you know, they want to see. You want to see everything. Mm-hmm. So, so do you have a really good feeling that the video is really going to take you to the next level? as well as the concert appearances? I think so. Um, I think so because, you know, when people hear about me, you know, they go to my website, and then they hear a few of the songs that stream there. You know, I give snippets there, but, of course, you know, you can get the full album on iTunes or Google Play, and they, right. they'll go to my media page, and they'll view some of the clips that are on there, you know, on YouTube, and they're like, okay, wow, okay, wow, okay we heard him, now we get to see him. Then they're like, okay, well, where, where's the rest? Where, where are the other videos? We we need more. We need more. So mm-hmm. I think that, you know, once the videos start, you know, coming out to, you know, go along with the songs that everyone, you know, now know and love, you know, I think that the reception will be, you know, greater there. And that's like, you know, back in the day, you know, you hear a song on the radio, you're trying to figure out, well, who's this person or who's this new artist? And then you start researching, like, okay, I want to know more about them. What do they look like? Oh, there's a video. Yeah. Oh, the video. Is there another video? And then you, you know, lose, not lose, you, you find yourself, you know, four hours later, you know, researching this person and looking at everything they've ever done over their, you know, career. Yeah. Like, wow, I think I just looked at everything on the internet, but, you know. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> yeah, man, I hear it all the time. Right, 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 right. Um, like yeah. I said, you know, the internet can be a definite time killer, but, you know, that's what people do. <laughs> they find something that they like, they want to know more about it. It's like, they well, do. 
Yeah, right. research, man. They want to analyze you, man, and make sure Absolutely. you know they want they they they're going to dedicate the because you know it's so much out there. Uh, you know, a, a potential fan want to know. Okay, should I dedicate my life <laughs> to being a fan, a follower <laughs> of this person? You know, exactly. are they going to continue to feed me content for life? Right. And you know, and, that, and that's that was the pressure for me doing this show. You know, I was like one time I said, okay, I was it was going to be a hobby, just have fun doing one show a night, and then I'm thinking, okay, they're going to have one show. And they're gonna be up there looking for me. They're gonna say, "Forget it." Like, right. Yeah, it he's gone. Been. Yeah, he's just a hobby. He's just a basement <laughs> DJ, you know. Well, and then next thing you know, right? So I found myself doing eight shows a night, four yeah. days a week. Gave myself the weekends off, maybe Monday, no Fridays. Mm-hmm. And and then before you know, people start doing their little marathons on you say yeah i like this guy you know next thing you know your followers are starting to get bigger and and your hits are coming because we're all about the hits about you know who's listening to us where are you you know it's not about you know attracting people to twitter because you can buy those numbers and even with facebook you know you want you know even if it's just a thousand people who are following you those those people are dedicated ones i know for sure that it's going to be a thousand people going to listen to the show that next day and they're going to tell their friends it's going to multiply tenfold, and then not counting the people who love going to the website because they don't really deal with Facebook. And then you're talking about your satellite people because people are listening to you all kinds of ways right now. And then they, and then I have my one fans that keep saying, all right, all right, Jerry, I really liked that show last night, but are you going to put it on YouTube? <laughs> okay, do I have to put it on YouTube? You just heard it. They come back, well, I like YouTube. No, so they, I mean, it's like these restaurants, they want to have it their way in every way possible. Yep. So it's like, you know, once you start something and, you know, there's a, a need for it, sometimes it's like, okay, what what have I done? You know, what kind of mockery did I create? <laughs> you know, I know. They they put, want it. <laughs> yeah, man, and they can just inbox you any time of the day, man. It's like, you can't cut this thing off. It's like they know when you're on your phone, they know you're on your PC, your Mac. Hey, you can't hide. I know, you my, I know you see my message. I know you see it. <laughs> it's like, hey Jerry, are you there? Or I just oh, see some say hi. I'm like, I get a thousand highs, right. but I love it. You know, I can't entertain everybody, you know, because I don't have the help like I used to have. But gotcha. you know, I mean, you gotta love it though, man. You know, um, and even now, like I, I mentioned to you earlier, I'm, I'm doing the church tours to uh, get more exposure and to introduce the, the the ministries to the technology too, because I think some of these guys are too good not to be heard by millions, you know. Absolutely. It's like, and they don't have the money to, or there's no time slots available for them to do terrestrial radio. So the internet is really all a lot of us have right now. Right. But right. it's becoming everything right now. You know, Absolutely. we're at the mercy of it. But, I mean, the quality that, that is coming through these broadcasters to me is, is remarkable, man. You know, right. P- right. people are going to hear... Uh, to stream it later so you know for those who can't catch it you know live yep you, know, you have the opportunity to get it later so it's always there so that's it's right a thing, so, it's a great thing you've got going definitely that's right you will be in rotation man all week long even past the concert i'm, I'm hoping that your people will approve us to do a live podcast that would be so big so big for uh, overseas, man. So we hope that that can happen because we are ready. We are ready to just tell them, just show me where my seat is. Absolutely. So we I got can... you front and center, my man. <laughs> yeah. Tell them, make, there you go. make it happen, man, because my audience, man, they love this kind of stuff. Um, I'm kind of responsible. And I feel I'm responsible for, you know, for showing, um, you know, paving this, making this thing happen for the independents, man. You know, Absolutely. independent media independent performers, you know, artists, you know, and, and just think, Joe, you, we, we knew, we knew from the get go, you had the talent when we saw you performing at a lot of the events at the job. And, and it's like, okay, you know, we thought you was going to try and make it happen while you were still sitting behind the cubicle, but then you probably lost focus, you know, like a lot of us do. You lose focus and it's like, God is talking to you. So now you decided to journey out to LA, you're acting, you're doing commercials, you've done an NFL thing. Tell us a little bit about the NFL project, you know, some people say, oh, he's just an independent guy. No, you tell me what big thing you just did, not just that and Mariah Curry, but oh, tell man, us a little Mariah bit about what went on with that, man. That was amazing. Um, you know, I had just moved to L.A. and, you know, just meeting people and, you know, different social events, um, you know, with industry heads and, you know, you, you just never know who is who because people don't wear their titles or, mm-hmm. you know, whatever on their shirts or whatever like that. So, 
you know, me just being me, you know, being nice and respectful and, you know, taking everything with me that I've been taught, you know, from my parents, you know, it's just like, you know, be, be kind to people and people will be kind to you. And uh, one day I was just talking to uh, just a, a random woman. Uh, I think we were, we may have been in an acting class. And, you know, the conversation just led to, you know, what are your dreams and aspirations? And I told her why I had moved there. And um, the, the reason that I moved there was, you know, for music and entertainment as a whole. And uh, she was like, you know, I like your spirit. You know, I, I don't mm-hmm. know you very well, but I like your spirit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put, you know, send your name to a few people. And someone heard my website, you know, from that contact. Uh, someone heard my website. The woman reached out to me and said, I don't know you, um, but I have received your name on, you know, good accord. Um, I'm just going to cut to the chase. How would you like to sing for Mariah Carey? Mm-hmm. And I was like, um... Uh, wow, yes, and absolutely. Wait, what is this? Is this a joke? And they're like, it's not a joke. And the nature of the business is, you know, when someone asks you something, you give them an immediate answer because time is running. Wow. And yeah. the shoot was like the day, the next day. And I dropped mm. everything I had, changed my appointments. And uh, the limousine came, picked me up, and they never told us where we were going, but it turns out that the taping was going to be for NBC at Mariah Carey's house. Yeah, um, in the Hollywood Hills, uh, and it, it was an amazing, amazing experience. And you know, mm. she, was just, she was very nice. Um, the home was filled with celebrities. You know, they made us sign a release form, so we can't talk too much about it. But yeah, uh, it NBC uh, for the release of her latest record, and um, like the production, and just to, just to be in the atmosphere when all of that was going on was amazing. And um, after that, uh, just the blessings kept coming. Um, you know, uh, someone else had heard, you know, that I was a singer. And, you know what, well, we've got um, this commercial coming up, and we need, you know, a male voice. Can you send us, you know, uh, an audition, a, t- a taped audition? Mm-hmm. Of I did. They called me immediately. Hey, we heard the first four seconds of your audition. We need you to come into the studio tomorrow. We've got this commercial that we need to do. And you're the guy for it. So I've been doing work like that. So the work has just been, you know, kind of, uh-huh. like I said, just truly blessed uh, in that aspect. And same with the, the theater productions. You go to one class or one audition. And, you know, I'm not going to make it seem as though I get all the auditions because, it, you know, it's a constant, you know, race for, you know, who who fits the mold of what we're looking for. Um, right. Nine times out of ten, it's not anything, you know, you as an actor or singer. It's nothing you did wrong. It's just... We're not looking for, there's so many criteria, you know, that people are looking for. So it's like, it's not you, it's just, we need this. Um, yes, right. Even in the auditions that you don't make, blessings come out of that. You know what, you auditioned for me three months ago, you may not remember, but I have a perfect role for you. And, mm-hmm. you know, I may not hold auditions if you would agree to do, the, you know, if you would take the part. Because it's basically, I see you in this because you auditioned for me before. So things like that all also happen. So you can't, you know, you hear it all the time. You know, if you don't get the yeah, you do. don't blow up and you know tear the, tear up the room mm-hmm. on your way out because you didn't get it because you don't know what opportunity lies and you not getting this one. You know, That's right. I had That's right. The auditions where I didn't make it, but the shooting schedule would have conflicted with something that came along later that was mm-hmm. greater than what I didn't get. So you just have to be mindful of the doors that open and those that don't open for you because if it doesn't open for you. That wasn't what you were meant, you know, it wasn't meant for you. That's so, right. That's some good advice for young people. Absolutely. absolutely. So um, between the commercials and the theater and um, just session work and general singing uh, for different artists that you don't know who you're singing for, you, you're just hired, contracted as a singer. Hey, we're going to sing this. You're going to sing this chorus. Well, who's it for? You know, we can't tell you that. Okay, cool. And then you hear yourself wow. on the radio a few months later for a prominent artist. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. But yeah, um, but again, with technology, a lot of things can be done, you know, in one location, and the artist can record their part in New York. So mm. um, it, it's 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 crazy. I've always dreamed about it, but now I, I'm actually living it. That's it's right. Awesome, man. It's an awesome. That's right. It's Positive it. thinking. There you go. That's there right. Manifesting your dreams, man, and and, and the God and God would make it happen. All right, man. We're gonna listen to. Um, Gray again. Cause I don't think we heard the, the whole song in the beginning because we opened the show with it. So we're gonna listen to Gray, and when we come back, man. We want to get your final thoughts, your closing thoughts for tonight's show, and um, again, um, remind everybody where they can see you this Sunday. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Here we go. Gray with GP Gerald Pringle.
world just fades away. Hi, I am Arthur Crystal Alexis, and I'm on Positive Power 21 with Jerry Roy Slide. Woohoo! That's right, you tell them, Crystal. That's right, everybody. Don't forget, we 24-7 radio station coming out of Baltimore, Maryland, and Eastern Shore. That's right, that's where we come from. Eastern, Cambridge, Herlock, D.C. That's right, that's our people. That's right, family, you tell them. And shout out to everybody at the Harriet Tubman Coalition Museum in Cambridge. We know we, you listening. We know you listening. All right, everybody. Again, we're listening to episode 378 with GP, GeraldPringle.com. Don't forget iTunes, Google Play, CD Baby, Amazon, MP3s. He's, he hit them all. That's right. You got to love it. EPs, all of my hot singles. I keep telling you, I can, I can picture him doing a video. He just mixing them all up <laughs> in one video. The guy said, wait a minute. You, you should have five videos. No, right, right. one video, five songs. Seventy five dollars. <laughs> right, that's right. Do your thing, man. Go viral. That's right. Exactly. All right, man. So we so excited, man. We just can't wait, can't wait. And we hope you have a safe trip to Baltimore and your family. We can't wait to greet the people coming from South Carolina. Absolutely. Can't wait, can't wait. So uh, we ready for your final words, man. And Jerry, thank you so much. And Jerry Royce, live worldwide for having me. It's always a pleasure to you know, just sit and chat with you. Um, it's, it's great being in good company. But you know, thank you for the opportunity uh, as an independent artist. You know, these are the types of shows that you know really help us to get our message out there. Um, so for that, on behalf of independent artists, spoken word singers, authors, poets, thank you. We appreciate what you do for us. And um, you know, again, the show is August second. It's the Summer Love Experience. Um, independently, we're putting these tours on you know, as we go along. So the next date may be in a city near you. But for those who are in the Baltimore, Washington, mid-Atlantic region, we would love to see you out at Magoobie's Joke House. Sunday, August 2nd. It's going to be an amazing show. Yeah, that's right. We, and we know all the feds going to be there. So they talking about it every day. Every time I ask somebody, you going to be at Gerald Pringle's show? They say, yeah. And I'm thinking it's on Saturday. Good thing. They told me. I'm looking at the flyers. Yeah. Because I told, I told the wife, I said, Nene, I can't, I can't make it to the Orioles game. I got a concert to go to Saturday. She said, oh, I told you. This. And then I said, all right, let me confirm. Because you know how I get dates mixed up. Right, right. <laughs> so I, I was wrong. That's right. So I will be at both events, right? The Birds, the Orioles doing their thing, Gerald Pringle doing his thing, and Daryl Ham, he's gonna be doing his thing Sunday night. And again, everybody, I will, I will Facebook you um the location where we will be. So if you wanna drop by, you don't have a church home, and you're looking for one, and you can get out the house, we want you to come on by to visit Pastor Daryl and his ministers. Um, it's gonna be a real treat, and we're looking forward to because he can preach the word. That's right. All right. All right, Gerald. Man, it's been awesome, man. And I'm going to tell you, man, um, you know, it's not just me anymore. I have an awesome cast of other podcasters that can't wait to get you on that show. You know, everybody brings different talents to the table. So if, you, if you're a guy who has a very special diet, I have uh, Michelle Emmons. She would love to talk to you because she follows the paleo diet detox and all that good stuff so you like to come on and talk about how you take care of yourself as an artist we'd love to get that going um, we have uh, T Time who's out in LA it's always a treat to talk to her because she knows the business and you guys can chat about that and then also we have a good friend from St. Louis Kimmy Kim she brings the spiritual side and by you coming from a spiritual family we would love to entertain you play your music so her audience so those girls a rocking on Facebook and Twitter, and um, and, and we got to get you, you make you part of that network as well, man. So we're looking forward to making it happen for you. Okay, sound good? All right, man. All right. So we'll see you on Sunday. All right, everybody. And before you go, Joe, you gotta tell us, man. Did you feel the power, man? Did you feel the power? Twenty one. Did oh, you feel absolutely. it? Definitely feel the yeah, power. And positive energy is what I'm all about. So thank you guys for that. Thank you. Amen. And I tell them all the time, I'm Jerry Royce Live. I'm worldwide.
Thank you for tuning in to Jerry Voice Live on PositivePower21.org and Spreaker.com forward slash PositivePower21. This is a Voice Enterprises production. And don't forget about replay on Facebook.com forward slash Jerry Voice Live. All right, everybody, stay awesome all week long. See you on Sunday.